Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Wanjigi is coming out to drop a bombshell as what is coming out to refer towards what happened in 2017 as Raila was crowned as the people's president. Jimmy Wanjigi is coming out to say that when the people elevate somebody to the people's president, he is above the constitution of the land. And the argument of Jimmy Wanjigi is such a kind of eye-opener that in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, people are having powers more than even the president. The only thing that is giving the president powers is people. And people can decide that enough is enough. We don't want William Ruto to be the president. So Jimmy Wanjigi is giving us an illustration why <laughs> that Raila Odinga is above the constitution of the land because people came out elevating him as the people's president in the Republic of Kenya. And this literally is giving Raila Odinga still powers to control some corners of the Republic of Kenya, politically speaking. I want us to listen to whatever Jimmy Wanjigi is saying, then we continue. But before we watch the video, if you're watching this video and you have not liked this video, please do me a favor, ensure you like this video. When you like this video, you automatically support the work of this video and this channel. Please so consider liking this video. And if you're watching this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. If you like, you give your opinion at the comment section below. And don't forget to share this video. Let us watch whatever Jimmy Wanjigi is saying. It was just friends having lunch. Yeah? Um, imagine when you talk about the divisions you may have had in 2022. Because you are calling him a foe. He was not a foe. He just chose a partner called Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, of which I uh, like could not reconcile with in terms of how is that the future of Kenya. And this is where we had a problem. And this problem started soon after the, 20, uh, the, the 2017 election. In 2018 February, uh, Raila was sworn in at Uhuru Park as the people's president. And I think you need to understand the context of the people's president. Yes. When you elevate, when the people elevate somebody to the people's president, he is above the constitution of the land. That's what it principally means. We said that the constitution is not being followed. The laws have not been followed. So the people have taken it in their own hands as they can. And it's enshrined in the constitution. And elevated Raila to people's president. Now, the next journey from there is to get him the office. So we had structured a direction to make sure that he takes over state house. Because he's the people's president. Oh, Emmanuel, you're laughing. That smiling, but but it's not illegal. Who told you that? We had a president that, that the had power the is donated. It is donated to representatives. When you when the people take it back and we took it back, we stated who our president is. So when he went for a handshake, to many of us, it was, why are you going to somebody who is inferior? You have been elevated. Why are you going to Uhuru Kenyatta, who has declared himself president of the Republic of Kenya? And I say that because he went to a singular election. Okay. That election, um, uh, no matter whether it went through court or what, really did not stand the scrutiny. They said seven million people came out to vote. I mean, we were all here. It was a sham, the second election. So we parted on that. 
did not see why he went to a president of the Republic of Kenya when he was even above. So according to Jimmy Wanjigi, is that when Railo Odinga came out having handshake with Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, that was the reason why he decided to exit the, the team of Railo Odinga and decided to pave his own way. And that is why he came out even trying to vie for presidency, but he was blocked. Number two, I've realized that according to the statement of Jimmy Wanjigi, there are those who could have come out to support Raila Amorudinga and even Komono Mwanainji, but a bigger percentage of them came out being upset because Raila Odinga had endorsed Uhuru Kenyatta supporting him as they had already understood that Uhuru Kenyatta was not taking Raila Amorudinga somewhere. But again, at the same time, when Raila Odinga was sworn in 2017 in Uhuru Park to be the people's president, Jimmy Wanjigi is saying that people came out taking back powers as they endorsed Raila Odinga to be the pre people's president and Raila Odinga was to take power and also to take over the state house. Upon his disappointment, he realized that he could not come out with Raila Amor Odinga again. But when you look at even his argument, is showing a kind of someone who is comfortable supporting Raila Odinga without Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. Remember, there was a time that Uhuru Kenyatta, when he was the president of the Republic of Kenya in his first term, he came out frustrating, blackmailing Jimmy Wanjigi, and even they came out raiding Jimmy Wanjigi's Mudaiga, Mudaiga home. You saw even Raila Odinga coming out to rescue Jimmy Wanjigi. So that kind of trauma came out making Jimmy Wanjigi not trusting again Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. So at that time, when Uhuru Kenyatta came out endorsing Raila Odinga and even starting to campaign for Raila Odinga, Jimmy Wanjigi was not comfortable as he is saying it was not easy for him to reconcile with Uhuru Megai Kenyatta because what Uhuru Kenyatta did to him. But that is according to Jimmy Wanjigi. But remember one thing. The indication that Jimmy Wanjigi is coming out with is that there's a possibility of him working with Raila Amolo Odinga. Just about two weeks ago, Jimmy Wanjigi met Raila Odinga in a certain hotel in Nairobi. And the kind of conversation they had, we don't know what their plans. But even towards the signals, you will realize that Jimmy Wanjigi is likely coming back to support Raila Amolo Odinga. And remember, Jimmy Wanjigi was an ODM Live member. You never know that now Jimmy Wanjigi is coming back because when he was going to vie for president, he, he, he migrated from ODM to Safina party. And that is the party that endorsed him as the presidential candidate. But now, as he is coming out that when the people elevate somebody to the people's pre president, he is above the constitution of the land. Is it true? Is it true? Because what I know People are having powers. People are having powers. And if they decide they want to remove you, they will. They will. If they want to remove you, they will remove you. So the clarity there is that the people are stronger than even the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. That is my realization. The people are so strong. And by the way, it is, of course, the people who always come out to elect these individuals. It is the people. When you look at MCS, it is the people who are coming out to elect them. It means that people are having powers than even these elected members of parliament. If tomorrow people will just decide, millions and millions of Kenyans, to come out to say that William Ruto must go, they will come out and decide no. William Ruto will come out and Ninini. William Ruto will come out and exit. So some individuals who are thinking like the constitution is powerful than the people, then they are aligned to themselves. If today people will decide that Raila Odinga is going to be the president, the way they have always said and decided on the ballot 
but ni kitu tu wanamuibianga if true leader hilo dinga kula be in the present now hata ndiko maliza time yake from 2007 does it mean that the prophecy will come to pass one day because Raila Odinga attempted to remove Mwai Kibaki before finishing his second term. Now he's coming like someone who is planning to ensure that William Ruto must go. Can that prophecy be fulfilled? As Jimmy Wanjigi is revealing that in any case people will come out and elevate elevate you to the people's present, it means you are above the constitution of the land. And because it is the people who have decided, it is the people who have decided, then you don't have anything. You don't, you don't have anything to say but to have and trust the people. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.